Uh, new switch. Yeah, the uh, old one stopped working. I know, you covered it in cheese whiz. It was an experiment. <laughs> what are those for? Oh, in case you mess up. <laughs> Please. You were saying? It's alive! Pew! Pew, pew, pew! Pew! Flash! Yes! Pew! Boom! 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 Phew. I'm glad that's over. Yeah! Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm John. And you're watching The So-and-So Show. Uh, after that little light switch fiasco, we're preparing an emergency kit. Yeah. We're not taking any chances this time. Oh, no. Uh, ah, ha ha. Ah! Oh. We're prepared, see? Yeah, I see. Can you, can you let me shine the light on you? Because that looks really creepy. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. there we go. Oh, wow! Check it out, check out your shadow. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's cool. an awesome butterfly. Cool, no, it's a, it's a dove. Oh. Cool. cool, oh, hey, that gives me an idea. Okay. Ta-da! Whoa, <laughs> wow, Brandon, that's awesome, is that you? Of course. <laughs> We're gonna play so-and-so shadow charades. I'll act out a scenario and then you try and guess what I'm doing. Fun! All right. Here goes. Okay, you're running. Yeah. Uh, you're uh, swimming. Yeah. Uh, you're running in place with your arms funny and funny. Oh, you're riding a bicycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh! You're you're running a triathlon. Yeah. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. Your turn. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. You're, you're eating. You're eating something. You're eating with both hands. You are so hungry. Oh, okay, can I use props? Oh, sure, yeah, go ahead. Oh, you just had one of those around. Um, you're eating a pizza. Mm. Good, there's more. Oh, you're eating the pizza and you're leaning. You're leaning, you're, you're oh, keep going. You're leaning, oh, wait, what is this? Oh, you're standing on something while eating a pizza and leaning. Hey, are you eating pizza on the Leaning Tower of Pisa? That's it! <laughs> oh, hey, you want a piece of pizza? No, thank you. Oh, okay. That was impressive. Well, thank you very much. I think we should do some together. Yeah, that would be great. All right. Then who would guess? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course! Yeah! Okay, viewers, what are we doing now? Uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> Did you get it? We changed the light bulb and we fixed the lights. Oh, yeah. What's wrong? Well, I had one more shadow charade. Oh, well, we can still play. Sweet. Lights. Right. Oh, it's a book. Uh, oh, you're reading. You're reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're waving your hands. You're, you're telling people what a good book that is. You really like this book. Okay, you have a, a new watch. Check, check in the time. It's time for something. Oh, it's time to read the book. Hey, uh, where'd you go? That looks like Kellen. Uh, oh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Yay! Hey guys, nice to see that the lights are back on. I know, everything's so much clearer in the light. <laughs> well, how about I illuminate you even more with some biblical knowledge? Well, that sounds great, Kellen. Take it away. I love that we've been talking about light. We're so used to having light, at times we don't often realize how important it is. Jesus talked about light all the time. In fact, one time when people had gathered to hear Jesus teach, he said to them, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness. They will have that light. They will have life. That is great news. Our world can sometimes be dark, but Jesus said that he is the light. And if you follow him, you won't be in darkness. You'll never be alone. And you can trust Jesus when he talks about light because light has played a part in his story since the very beginning. There was nothing but darkness in the beginning until God said, let there be light. And boom, there was light. Light was the first thing God created. Light would help people see the beautiful world God made, the land and seas, the mountains and clouds. But there was still a darkness in the world. Sin gripped the hearts of the people. People needed hope. They needed more light. And God had a plan. God sent a message to the people through a prophet named Isaiah. It was a promise for the future. Isaiah wrote, the people who are now living in darkness will see a great light. They are now living in a very dark land, but a light will shine on them. God promised to send a new kind of light into the world, a great light that would chase away the darkness. Hundreds of years later, a couple named Mary and Joseph would travel to the city of Bethlehem and Mary would give birth to a very special baby, Jesus, the Son of God, the light of the world. Jesus spent his whole life shining his light. He healed the sick, taught the people, had compassion for those who were overlooked, fed the hungry and performed miracles. But there were some who didn't understand what Jesus was trying to do. So they had Jesus arrested and sentenced to die. When Jesus died on the cross, he died to pay the price for the sins of the world. Everyone has done things that are wrong, things that hurt others and break their relationship with God. But Jesus' sacrifice rescued that relationship. And when you put your trust and your faith in him, the light from Jesus shines in you. Jesus' death wasn't the end of the story, of course. On the third day after he was buried in a tomb with a large stone blocking the entrance, the stone was rolled away and Jesus came back to life. The light of the world could not be put out. Jesus showed that his light is brighter than the darkness and more powerful than death. And he never intended to keep that light to himself. Remember what Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness. They will have that light. They will have life. The end. Wow, epic. I know, light really is super important. It's true. And we shine the light of Jesus when we love others and have compassion for people in need. Thanks for the story, Kellen. You're so bright. No problem. Thanks for listening. See you next time. This has been a real 
Enlightening day. Nice. <laughs> no, seriously, I love talking about the light of Jesus. I feel incandescent, luminous, effulgent. Are you reading the thesaurus again? Yes. Reveal the question. Oh, where have you seen the light of Jesus? I see it every time that you go to the store and you ask if I need something and you pick it up while you're there. That's, oh. that's very Oh, well, thoughtful. I'm going there anyway, so I just thought I'd save you a trip. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, I saw the light of Jesus just the other day when I was feeling sad and you cheered me up and made me laugh. Wait, I tripped and fell. <laughs> so. Glad I could help. You oh. might have seen the light of Jesus from someone in your family or a friend, uh, someone who did something nice for you, mm -hmm. or maybe even said a kind word. Yeah, talk about it with someone. Where have you seen the light of Jesus? And we'll see you next time on The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. What's another word Production. for? Production. Oh, there's no words for that thesaurus. Yeah, there is. Can you not see these? I can't. What's another oh. word for invisible? Um, 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 transparent. It's Bible Story Time with Kellen! Yay! Good. Cutty cutty. <laughs>